what we showed is the neurotransmitter is being used by immune cells to carry out of their functions at the command of the brain. So we engineered a mouse in which the immune cells cannot make the neurotransmitter. When we deleted the neurotransmitter from the immune cells, they cannot control virus infection. So that is absolute proof that the brain tells the immune cells what to do. For chronic virus infection, for virus infection, you would need the immune cells to make a more neurotransmitter for them to get into the infected sites. In this case, it's very clear. When, when we stop the neurotransmitter from the immune cells, it, it cannot get out of the blood vessels. It's stuck inside because the blood vessels is to open up the door for it to go out. Now, in a very strong virus infection, all the blood vessels are open, the immune cells go out. Chum, 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 chum. But in a, in a weak, or in the case of a tumor, here's a cancer, and it's surrounded by immune cells that couldn't get in. It's exactly like the Greek soldiers in Helen of Troy. Right? So we surmise that they couldn't get in because they do not have the neurotransmission signal for them to go in and finish off. I'm Tak Mac, a senior scientist at the Princess Margaret's Cancer Center.